Hey, welcome, my name is Fabio, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to use Mailing Boss 5.0 step-by-step, and this is part two video. So before I get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribe, where you're from, or your thoughts about the video, and don't forget to smash the like button so that this video can help more people. All right, so I'm actually gonna hop into my computer and I'm gonna show you right now, let's go. All right, so we are here on Mailing Boss 5.0 and in today's video, I'm gonna be covering the uh, first I'm gonna go over the instant messages and then I'm gonna go over the workflow. So instant messages, before I go into here, you need to either use here when we go to the Builder All dashboard and you come here to apps, you have this thing which is the Builder All WhatsApp automation tool and you also have this SMS messaging. And this uh, tool right here, uh, which is over here, right? With this uh, instant messaging works with both WhatsApp and SMS Messenger. So let's go hop into these tools and just show you here. So this first one, which is the Builder All WhatsApp automation tool, which is this one, Builder All Zap. Once you come here, uh, if you wanna use WhatsApp to send instant message to people, you can do it. But first you need to come to this uh, here and you need to, on this button over here, verify authentication. So you need to verify your WhatsApp number here uh, and everything uh, to be able to, to use uh, WhatsApp uh, here on Mailing Boss along with this instant message, okay? So you need to be to do that in order to, to be active first. Now, uh, here on the Builder All dashboard, when we come to apps, then we have the SMS messaging, which is this one right here. Um, you need to buy credits actually to send messages to people, okay? So what you need to do if you, once you open it and you come over here, on the bottom it says SMS balance, and then you have to click here, purchase credits, and there you go, it's gonna pump up this, and it's gonna ask you to purchase uh, $20 worth of um, SMS, 200 or 50, and uh, you can come here on the left to price table, and it's gonna give you the price of each country to send SMS, okay? So for instance, if we go to United States, United, okay, United States over here. So to send a message to the United States, it's 0, 0,008, so actually very cheap. So you can buy a package over here, okay? And then you can manage all here. Now, uh, as you, uh, the contacts over here, the contacts will be shown over here right as you bring them in so you can actually if you want you can add contacts over here you can import lists of contacts and you can send an sms over here on the left you can actually send sms to uh, your contacts okay so just note that you need to have money here in order to uh, then use so now i'm going to close this uh, this here we are at mailing boss so now let's go to the instant messages Okay, before I come to the instant messages, let me just uh, come here again to subscribers and lists. Okay, if you remember the list on the last video, I've created a list which is called affiliates. Now I'm gonna come to this list, forms. So if you remember, we've, we have uh, the name and the email on the bottom. Now, if you wanna add the SMS function in here, what you need to do, you wanna be adding the phone prefix and the phone, you just track it here to the right. And then you would go ahead and here on top, you go ahead and update. I'm not gonna do this for now, but you would need to add that in there in order to capture the user's um, phone number. So also here when you go create a list here on top, you can check the box right on the bottom, remember, to activate instant message and um, to with the phone prefix. So you can add this automatically when you create a list, okay? Just note that. Okay, so now that's out of the way. That's how you capture the user's phone number, right? Now, when we come here to the instant messages uh, on this button, we create a new record here. And this is uh, how we're gonna be sending the user SMS messaging or maybe 
through WhatsApp. So what we need to do here, add the name there and then you type the type here. Now this is where you choose if it is regular, it means you're gonna send the message now. If it is autoresponder, it means you are gonna program the messages just like an autoresponder and then it's gonna send automatically when people opt in. And then you have automation here. The automation is you can do this, I'm gonna to talk to you about in a moment. Regular to send once now here. And then we choose the app. What is it that we want? We want SMS, sending an SMS messenger or, or through WhatsApp. Let's say we do WhatsApp and then we select the list that we want to send to. In this case, uh, I'm gonna select affiliate, which is the list that um, we are working on. Okay, then you, you can actually segment if you want. Uh, you can tell like uh, if people uh, depend on the action uh, that they take, if you have tags and all these things. I'm gonna go over more of this uh, in a moment. Okay, then here you type the text message that you want to send to the person. You have uh, here the when will this be activated, the time. So uh, the time is like, uh, okay, so once they subscribe on day zero, which is on the same day, it's gonna send a, a message to them on day one. So, okay, we put day. Now, if we were to do the second message, we would put here on day number one, which is a day after we put, so on next day, they'll get them a message, okay? And we can put minute, hour, um, this works exactly just like the autoresponder that I showed you, but this is for SMS, instant messages. So the process is basically the same, okay? So there we go. This is pretty much how you work with it. There's not much to it here. It's uh, quite, you just need to play around with this and it's quite uh, simple once you get a, you put your hands on it and actually uh, test it, okay? So there we go. Those are the main uh, things. Now, of course, here you can send a, a uh, file here, but I believe you would pay more for that. I'm not sure, um, but you, are, you actually can send a file uh, through SMS, like an image or something. Um, if you want, you could add it there as well. Okay, so there we go. Uh, this is SMS messaging. Now let's go to the, the last one, which is the workflow, how to work with this. Now note that uh, the workflow here, it's similar to Mailing Boss, the old one, although here it has way, way much functions. You can do a lot more, a lot more here. First thing we do is we come here to create a new record. Right when it starts, it's gonna ask you what will uh, trigger uh, the automation that you want to do, the workflow. Is it when people click on the on the a link that you have on one of your emails that you're sending to people? Or we can come here to unsubscriber at when they subscribe to a specific list, then we can go and add more actions, more workflow to it and decide what they're gonna do after. Or when they open a campaign, if they like you can uh, you can have campaigns, right? Which is uh, campaigns, you can have sequences or just regular emails here on campaign. And uh, what you can do is when the campaign is active uh, or the flow, uh, like the, the sequence starts, uh, then it, it will trigger. Then we have this one, which is receive campaign. I believe this is similar here to uh, open campaign. I haven't tested this one, but uh, I believe it will trigger uh, once we, we select the campaign that we want. This is uh, through a tag, so we can actually uh, create tags and then uh, we can say after we receive this tag, like we then take an action or remove a tag. Let's go through the basics here. Let's say people, somebody uh, went into uh, and just joined one of our lists. So they go over here, which is on subscribers at this one. And then we select the list that uh, they subscribe to. So this is the affiliate list. This is the list that we've created, remember? So I'm gonna select this one, save. So we have this blue button right here, which is join a workflow. This, you can grab it and then you can put it wherever you want. Now, let me put this here. Now, over here, you have the plus, uh, plus button and uh, minus. This is to zoom in or zoom out. We've on the list, which is affiliates, when people join that list, then we have this button. This is where we click the, uh, below. This is what, what will happen after they've joined the list. And note that we can do, we can add the lead score. So we could say a lead score is to measure how many people opened. Uh, you can add a tag uh, that you can just uh, then refer to that tag to do a specific action. You can copy to a list. You can copy to a workflow which is copy uh, that user to a, a specific workflow on the automation, which is pretty cool and new. Um, you can edit the subscriber. Uh, 
Uh, you can move them to another list. You can send them a campaign and you can send them instant message, which is the SMS through WhatsApp and, um, and also SMS. And then we have here the web hook. Now web hook is, is if you want to connect with different programs out there, different uh, tools on the internet, you can send specific codes to another website through here. And then we have flow divisions, so you can have uh, multiple flows, multiple actions on this. So you could have two actions instead of just one. So you would come here, um, lead score more than, so this is more related to the lead score. Then we have this link click, which is uh, to click on some link. So if somebody signs up to the list, then we click that link. And this is really cool because you can um, measure things and just all kinds of things you can do. Um, and then on uh, subscribers at, you can do this as well. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, then you have open campaign to open the campaign, to receive a tag, to wait. So we can wait on the workflow. So instead of just is just after they opted in, it could be five minutes or 10 minutes after. We can uns uh, un unsubscribe ad, we can unsubscribe, remove from list, remove uh, the lead score from it or remove the uh, attack. Stop the workflow, we can start restart and move the workflow. So there's a lot of options here. This is really advanced. Uh, Builder all 5.0, you can do basically anything you want. But let's say they just opt in into this list, then we have an, an email sequence. But what we wanna do is we wanna have a different uh, email sequence that we're gonna be sending emails as well to them, but it's on a different email sequence. So what we could do is we could copy to list and then we select the list that we wanna copy this subscriber to. Let's say we would copy to this different list, which is email marketing list and we hit save. And then we can have a follow-up on that list. Uh, then we can keep adding things. We can add more actions here. Of course, you know this, uh, I can show you here uh, each step and everything, but it will take me a long time. So I recommend you actually test this, depending on what you wanna do, right? We could, uh, you know, add a tag here and we could call the subscribed to affiliate, which is our list. So this tag, let's save it. So there we go, we have this over here and we add a, a tag so that later on we can say everybody that has this subscribe to affiliate tag, uh, we can send them this these specific emails. So we can uh, do a lot of automations like this and tag people um, as they come in so we know where they came from so that later on, on the segment part, which remember I told you I was gonna talk to you about, you can then on the segment part, you can say, only people that have this specific tag, which is the subscribe to affiliate, I wanna send emails only to these people. That way, when you send a broadcast email, you can tap into exactly that person. And note uh, that you can do all kinds of automations here, like if the person clicked a link, then you would tag and say, okay, they clicked this link. And on the segments, when you send them, uh, 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 when you do a sequence or maybe just a email broadcast, you can go to the segment part and say, okay, people that click this link is the one that I'm gonna send the emails only. Yeah, I recommend you play around here. Uh, then up here, which is the workflow uh, name, uh, is the name of the workflow. So I'm gonna say just uh, uh, my flow for moving subscriber, okay? And then I'm gonna hit save. And as you can see, the workflow is there. And the thing with it is uh, we can just come here and we can uh, come to automations and we can see the automations that we have in place. So these are the actions that are being taken. And then we can come here if we want and we can edit the flow and just edit the flow as so, okay? So now uh, you can add as many flows as you want. And um, yeah, again, let me create a flow here real quick and just show you that. Okay, when you do this, of course, as you start with this, you, what I recommend you do is go for it. Don't just think about the buttons, actually click them and test them because um, they uh, they are there to for this purpose of uh, you clicking and putting into action. Because uh, I see most people, they, they look at things and they just don't take action. Just click on the button, test it out, and see what will happen after you test it out. Put it all together. There's just so many automations I could do here, so I'm not gonna have time to just go all over everything. But this is, in a nutshell, this is uh, what it is, and um, these buttons is what it does. 
yeah so there we go these are the workflows you can do so much with it uh if you want you can come here to tutorials as well i believe they have uh, more tutorials on the workflow if you have any questions regarding uh, each button but i always recommend is you actually click the buttons and test it out see it for yourself and there we go i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel as i will do more videos to help you crush your business and if you're looking to making money online I have my number one recommendation in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Have a blessing day and I will see you next time.